How are you doing guys, it's Smart Entity here. Today we're going to talk about the Void Trader Goods. Now the way I structure my videos is such that the information I'm going to provide to you guys can be extrapolated to future goods or future content that haven't been released in the game thus far. So this is not going to be shitting on barricades here, it's going to be taking a serious and mature look at the Void Trader items to date. So there are basically five different categories. The first category are your cosmetics, the second category are your weapons, the third category are your primed weapon mods, the fourth category are your primed warframe mods, and the final category basically encompasses every other mod that have been shown up with the Void Trader thus far. We're going to talk about each category in turn, so we're going to look at each category in terms of whether they're worth it and whether they are good. Right, so the two are not mutually exclusive, but they do offer different perspectives, and we'll go into that more in detail shortly. Now, I do want to quickly mention, yes, last time on PC, we did see this crap, and I've said this crap is basically DE's way of marketing to encourage players to spend play in the DE market, so we all know what to do with this, and we all know what to do with this if it shows up again. Alright, first category, we're going to talk about this fast, and that is the cosmetics. Now, I've actually realized this myself way too late, and that is, these are not worth it, they're not good, they're a waste of ducats, they're a waste of credits, they're a waste of time. To put things into perspective, there's no way to actually convert ducats to platinum fairly in this game. So, I'm going to do it based on a equivalent price sale, yada yada yada. So, uh, Exilus... Excellus, ex, uh, Alexis Redeemer skin costs 325 ducats in addition to a quarter million credits. That's pretty comparable to a primed mod. Now, in the game, regardless of how good or bad a primed mod is, unranked is worth 100 plat, right? That is the fact that it is today. So, if we take that in, into a perspective, this is pretty much worth about three quarters. And if we look at the Dark Sword Dead Skin, which is, if memory serves, 300. And I know I've missed it, I think it's about 300 ducats. Here we go, 320 ducats. And if we look at the arrow, 350 ducats. So, in that regard, if we can sell a Prime Mod unranked for 100 platinum, these ones should be able to be worth at least 75, right? So based on 300 ducats, should be at least three, uh, 75 platinum. Now, will you buy this for 75 platinum? I know a lot of you guys out there will say, hell yeah, for me, I would never do that, right? And I realized that too late. So I've actually bought these, and if they were to come out again, or similar products to come out again, I wouldn't do that, because I wouldn't buy this for 75 platinum in the market. I would buy another Prime Mod, and I'll sell it later on for 100 platinum. So as far as the cosmetics goes, they're not worth it and they're not good. Next, weapons. Now weapons, hands down, I'm gonna say they are worth it, they are good. They are better than their regular counterparts, they are comparable to their Prime, Vandal, Wraith counterparts if they exist. And obviously, as far as which one's better, it depends on the individual weapons. Yes, they do cost a lot of ducats, they cost a bit less credits than what the Prime mods are going for. But they definitely worth it because they do contribute to mastery, and mastery obviously contribute to a number of trades you can do a day, and of course they contribute to your bragging rights in Warframe. Because let's face it, Warframe at the end of the day, our goal is to get that magic mastery, right? Right now, max mastery in the game is 21, and we're all aiming for 30 one day. So in story, they're worth it, and they are good. Now the next category are obviously your primed weapon mods. Primed weapon mods, at the end of the day, they are not worth it, but they're definitely good. So what that means is, yes, they definitely add a significant damage increase, and you can actually see that in-game, but at the end of the day, because uh, we are doing a PvE game, that little increase doesn't actually make much of a difference. And because Warframe, you know, the game allow players to be extremely overpowered. 
any max potato weapon with max former, so six polarity in total, uh, allow you to do a max build. Even with the non prime counterpart, you can pretty much have god mode in most gameplays anyway, unless you're in your 60 minute T3 T4 survival, defense, interception counterpart, you are pretty much god mode in Warframe. Now, Sorte offers a bit of a challenge here and there depending on the mission, but even then, the prime mods aren't particularly necessary. The non prime counterpart do do you know, strong enough damage, and the only time where you do want to get your primed weapon mods maxed is when you are rank 21 on your mastery rank and you got nothing else to do. So, you know, get them if you got nothing else to do, but if you do still need to max your serration, your heavy caliber, and do those first and worry about these later. So they are not worth it for everyday gameplay, they are worth it if you are rank 21 got nothing better to do, but no matter where you are on the scale, they are definitely good, and you can see that. The next tier, well the next category are your primed Warframe mods. Now primed Warframe mods I would say are worth it more than your primed weapon mods, they are not so much on your priority list, but they are definitely on the priority list, on a higher, t well, more on the priority list than your prime weapon mods. So, they are good and they are worth it, especially some of the prime flow where we see, say, for example, in your QT rage combo, prime flow is basically HP when you have quick thinking on. And uh, having prime flow pretty much almost double your regular flow. So, for those of us that don't know yet, a prime mod basically does twice the amount of benefit a non-prime mod would do minus a base benefit. So the easiest to demonstrate is with prime continuity. So from this I can see a base continuity or prime continuity will have 5% power duration, a max continuity will have 30% power duration, and obviously a max prime continuity will have 55% max power duration. So a Max Prime mod will almost give us twice the amount of the effective HP if we're using something like a Rage QT build. Another significant point where we can see Prime flow in action is in your raid where you're carrying the bomb. Obviously, when you carry the bomb, it sucks energy. And having Prime flow quite literally means you know you're guaranteed to carry the bomb from A to B and receive the next energy vampire hit uh, when it hits. Having a normal flow can pretty much do that if you're pretty good or if you have a good trinity behind you but it's not as guaranteed as a prime flow as far as continuity goes you know the bonus or benefit is not as obvious as, as prime flow but it's definitely there i mean a max prime continuity pretty much counters a fleet expertise right so they are more worth it than the prime mods again they're not going to be more on the party list than your heavy caliber or serration, but they are, you know, on there once you reach your level, I would say rank 18 as far as mastery goes. So the final category are obviously every other mod. Now, this is quite controversial because we've seen the do electricity stat mods going on Hive sabotage already, so chances are they're not going to come back on Barracot here. The other mods such as your fan fusillade, your tranquil well, I keep on saying tranquil clay, but it's temporary out, not tranquil clay. As your twilight vermilion storm, these ones may make a return. But at the end of the day, they are worth it, but they're not good. So what does that mean? It means they're definitely worth getting because they're unique. You know, these guys, Astro Twilight, Temporal, they're event mods. So definitely worth getting for a few ducats and a few credits. You know, it costs nothing to max. And especially something like Temporal, which can be used on the new weapon War, which is a pretty damn good weapon. Um, it's definitely worth getting. But they're not really good because they are quite unique to the weapon or their respective weapons. And, you know, they just stuns us, right? Other stuns can do the same job. So they're not good, but they're definitely worth getting. And yes, I know some people argue the combos of these are good, and I do hear you on that respect. I just mean it's not good in that, you know, you can still get your mod points, and you can still use a weapon, even with the even without these uh, stances. And as far as things like Fan Fuselay goes, you know, it's quite questionable whether it'll come off Void Trade and go on everyday farmable either enemy or mission rewards, but until that happens, you know, it's worth getting, <clears throat> and with something like this, it's pretty damn good as well. 
All right, so in conclusion, we're just gonna thumb everything up. Um, cosmetics, not worth it. Weapons, worth it. Cosmetics, bad. Weapons, good. Primed weapon mods, they're not worth it. They're good. Primed warfare mods, they are half worth it. They are good. And as far as every other mod goes, they are good. And whether they are worth it or not, I would say yes, they are worth it. But it's hard to extrapolate data at this stage just because you know some of these mods may come off Void Trader in which case they definitely won't be worth it. Alright guys that's pretty much it. Leave in the comments below anything you disagree with, leave in the comments below anything you agree with because I always like your support. Other than that like comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!